The medical school's newest program is promoting a sustainable workforce for the future of Valley Health Care. Action News anchor Vanessa Vasconcellos shows us the hands-on learning at California Health Sciences University. Starting compressions. One, two, Let's three, bag in, four, bag in, five, five bag in. six. Seven. The Simulation Center at California Health Sciences University is giving new meaning to interactive learning for the Valley's future physicians. Students work with mannequins or standardized patients, SPs. Can you explain what brought you in today? Um, I've been having these headaches. These headaches? And how long has that been going on? It's worse than the ones before. Worse? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and have you tried taking any medication for it? We have access to all the cameras in the Simulation Center, so we can kind of monitor what's going on in every exam room. Standardized patient educator Nanami Yoshioka says each encounter is designed to cater to Valley patient needs, mirroring real life scenarios, and is recorded for feedback and evaluation. What brings you in today, Pedro? My mom. Your mom? Why'd your mom bring you in? My, my chest was hurting. Your chest was hurting? Are they asking the right questions to get the right information that they need? Are they doing the physical exam correctly? Um, and that all is kind of put together into helping them form their differential diagnoses. Medical Spanish is a required course and students get practice interacting with healthcare interpreters. In addition to language barriers, SPs are paid community members, sometimes theater students, covering bias, how to treat an unruly patient or those who don't know how to advocate for themselves. Rather than starting out with a real patient, students can build their confidence when it comes to bedside manner and evaluating patients. Susie, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling all right. I fainted earlier, so I got sent here. This is a psychologically safe setting where, you know, students can make mistakes and get feedback. And so that way we're just preparing them for working with real patients. In addition to the hospital inpatient wing and outpatient clinic wing, augmented reality provides a unique learning experience. Here is the bile duct. Bile duct should be right about there. Holographic anatomy through the HoloLens means students don't have to work with cadavers and they can practice dissection at home or wherever they have Wi-Fi. The simulation center along with the other pieces of our curriculum really are aimed to help students be uh, attracted to come here as well as to be trained here and then stay here afterwards. Almost half of the medical school's roughly 200 students went to high school in the Central Valley. They'll be adding a third group of 150 students in July. We're excited to be able to recruit students locally to stay here uh, and serve the patients that need more doctors here in the Central Valley. To learn more about the program or sign up to be a standardized patient, visit our website, abc30.com. In Clovis, Vanessa Vasconcelos, ABC 30, Action News.